Wow, an Audi A8L 4.2. Adaptive cruise, adaptive suspension, adaptive headlight direction based on DVD location on your navigation system. Pretty interesting. Only 22,000 made, 122 inch wheelbase. Uh, let's get to it. Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark, your Sunday rant Audi host. <laughs> All right. So uh, this week, you know, here's what bothers me this week. I've been fueling at a different location because of the way the time of the run goes and that. So I'm fueling at a Loves, and you get a lot more mega carriers. You get a lot more larger carriers in there, it seems like. And, uh, you know, I was blocked in one time this week. But still, even so, what people are, are doing, I'll notice this, is by the time I'm done fueling and leave, there's still trucks that no one's even shown up at the truck. So starting Tuesday, and I actually had to work yesterday, which is somewhat aggravating, uh, but uh, be only because the day was aggravating, I timed it. I'm like, well, how long does it really take to get in and out of here? Because so many drivers always say, well, Mark, if I go slower, I'm at the same place as everybody else because everybody stops so long. And maybe that's true. That does seem to be true for a lot of people. They're stopped. They're sitting there. What are you doing? All right, why are you in the fuel island, you know, for all this time when there's nobody in the truck? Either way, there's only one day when I was above 10 minutes. That's off the highway, back, getting back on the highway. And that was because another goober head was inside. So you pull up and there's no, they're all the lanes, there's a truck in front of them. So you kind of have to take your chances, roll the dice, and uh, hope the heck you get out of there before some idiot uh, holds you up. If I get in there, get to the fuel, there's nobody behind you. <clears throat> so I come in, I get to the fuel island and you're still there. You're holding up traffic. You're holding everybody up. What I have always thought is trucks should be towed immediately out of the way. If I pull up, I fuel and I'm done and you're not back to your truck, you should get towed out of there. People have work to do. All right. Some people actually have work to do and would like to just get in and get out of there. Most of the time, I don't even go in the truck stop. So uh, I don't have to sit around and wait. And by the way, you could have walked in and got your fuel ticket and left long before I was done fueling, certainly. Because I, on one time I was at the first one, which is that little loves thing where they um, take care of your tires or whatever. So I could see in there. If somebody was at the uh, desk still waiting for their fuel ticket, no. No, I assume they're looking around, trying hats on, seeing if they can get somebody to get a knife out of the case for them to look at. Right, you know, that doesn't make any sense. And for the people that think, you know, the other side of it, well, people stop. Yeah, a lot of people do, but I don't know if you'd catch up to me. I'm only over 10 minutes one time for my fueling. Normally I'm in and out so that I don't hold other people up. Can we just be kind to each other? And you know, if there's if there's somebody behind you, whatever, move the heck out of there. Only go inside to grab a drink. Don't go order 14 different Subway subs and have to continue to, oh, I want only, let, oh, wait, half a bean sprouts. I want double, it. no, all right, just no. Go park somewhere and go inside. It's, there's just not enough room to be holding up a bunch of other people. I know you don't care. I know the people that are doing the holding up, right? They don't care. The whole world revolves around them. Uh, you know, that's the only thing. It's just them or nothing. You know, they got apparently nothing to do. So they can just sit around and walk around. It's just aggravating. I'm sure it aggravates uh, everybody else as well. Uh, when you get up there and you would like to get going because you have things to do and uh, somebody else just, um, they could care less. And it's uh, super aggravating. It's super aggravating. So that's what I was uh, thinking about. By the way, we could talk more about this on the live show that goes on Mondays at 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. Did you know that? Wow. <laughs> that's right. And then podcast Tuesday, Friday. So be sure to uh, get Trucking Answers on your podcast app and uh, we'll see you on the live show. Thanks for watching.